Tanzania's main opposition leader has urged the country's new president to change course in the fight against COVID-19. The East African nation's first female head of state, Samia Saluhu Hassan, was inaugurated on Friday, following the death of vocal coronavirus skeptic John Magafuli. Tanzania stopped providing coronavirus data in May last year, having reported 509 cases and 21 deaths. Speaking from exile in Belgium, Tundu Lissu urged Hassan to depart from the ways of her predecessor. President Magufuli, as I have said, was absolutely, adamantly reckless in his approach to COVID-19. And as a result, it has caused so many unnecessary deaths. Uh, Vice President Samia Sulu Hassan is going to have to change calls because there is nothing else. Lisu went into exile after unknown gunmen shot him 16 times in 2017. He accused the state of trying to kill him, which the government denied. Speaking from his home, he said, without providing evidence, that Magafuli died from COVID-19. No one in Tanzania, well, in, in Tanzanian government, would dare, would dare admit the obvious, that President Magufuli died of COVID-19. Lissu cited medical, diplomatic and security sources in Tanzania and Kenya for his information. A government spokesman did not respond to a request for comment. Dr. John Pombe, Joseph Magufuli. Announcing Magufuli's death on Wednesday, Hassan said he had died of heart disease. One of the first decisions she now faces is whether to procure the vaccines that her predecessor denounced as a Western conspiracy. She also inherits a country polarized after six years of Magafuli's rule. Speaking after her inauguration on Friday, Hassan said it was time to bury differences and become one as a nation.